Hi, this is Dennis from Cybercraft coming at you with another performance based question. Haven't seen this one yet. We're going to go through this just like we do this one on the first try. So let's see how we do here. Okay, this one I believe is on vulnerabilities. And yeah, that looks like it's on vulnerabilities. So let's make this a little bigger. Move my head over here. Okay. So. Given the vulnerabilities listed in the following scan results, which vulnerability should be remediated first? Okay, so we have some scan results here. We have a couple vulnerabilities. Uh, 2024-5910. We got a, a 9.3, a 7, a 6.8, and a 5.4 severity. So it's one critical, I think this is high, and then these are medium or moderate. Let's see, missing authentication. So I guess, okay, this is pretty straightforward, I'm making this too complicated. Given the vulnerabilities listed in the following scan results, which vulnerability should remediate first? Definitely the critical vulnerability. So we definitely wanna pick that one, and that's gonna be, it's listed by the CVE number. So that's 5910. So the CVE number is always CVE, year, and then the number. So this one's critical. We want to do that one first. Okay. That makes sense. Do that one. Let's keep going. All right. What is the best course of action to remediate this vulnerability, the high, the critical vulnerability? Okay. So we have some more information. We have the MITRE information. So this is from the MITRE website, where you can look for any CVE. And let's see what they say. Uh, description is where you find a lot of information. You find information through these links too. One of my roles when I was a contractor was a enterprise program manager with Department of Homeland Security, uh, Citizenship and Immigration Services. So I had to remediate POAMs, remediate vulnerabilities that affected the entire organization. So. I have a lot of experience doing exactly this. This is right up my alley. All right, let's see. Missing authentication for critical function in Palo Alto Networks Expedition can lead to an Expedition admin account takeover. I think Expedition is one of the operating systems. Uh, admin account takeover for attackers with network access to an Expedition. Okay, so if an attacker has access to Expedition, they can take over the admin account. Note Expedition is a oh here Expedition is a tool aiding in configuration, migration, tuning, and enrichment. Configuration secrets, credentials, and other data imported into Expedition is at risk due to this issue. Okay. So it's a configuration tool. That's what Expedition is. And if the if the attacker has network access, they can change it. So what, what does it say here? What other clues do we have? All right, it affects these certain versions. These versions are not, so anything below this version is affected. Uh, let's see, upgrade to version 1.2.92 or later. I mean, that would do it. That would do it. <clears throat> Implement a firewall to block access. Well, that's not necessarily gonna help us because if attackers have network access, then they're gonna have access to this. So. I don't think that's necessarily so good. Re perform a system reboot. That's not going to help. Monitor the system for unusual activity. Well, you should always be doing that. But I think this one's pretty clear. Upgrade to this version. Because if we upgraded the version, then it's not going to be affected. So pretty good. They're giving us a lot of information here that we don't necessarily need. But very, I think it's a good question. All right, let's keep going. Okay, how will the following factors be written using the CVSS, the Common Vulnerability Scoring System? Okay, so each of these has a, a symbol. Okay, this is, this is kind of tough. So each one of these has a symbol that we'll want to use here. All right, so like, for example, urgency corresponds to the, the, um, the color, if I remember correctly. The attack vector complexity attack requirements they all have attack vector here attack complexity attack uh, requirements I believe is AT PR should be uh, privileges required I think privileges required yeah privileges required 
And then there's gonna be product, confidentiality, integrity, availability. That's gonna be V, V, C, V, I, V, A. We have V, C, V, I, V, A. So this one definitely isn't it because this says high, high, and high. These are low, low, and low. So that's not gonna be it. And then subsequent confidentiality, integrity, and availability. This is an entry. I wonder where we get this uh, graphic from, but this is this is explaining it all out here. So that would be S C S I and S A. So S C S I and S A. So this one's definitely wrong. The first one, and it's also what is this amber? If it's highest urgency, then it's going to be red. There's red, amber, green, and I think X is not defined. If I remember correctly, it's very rare to see that one. Value density is somewhere on here too. That's like D or v, it's V, it's just V. Value density, okay, this one's very wrong. Okay, let's see. So value density, let's just go down the list. For First off, let's do urgency or the color. So amber, red, red, red. And then let me flip this. You guys see this, this is green. So, we know that it has to be one of these three because of the urgency. All right, it has to be that one because of the urgency. So let's keep going. Let's look at confidentiality, integrity, and availability. The for these three, so V C V I V A. It should be high, high, and high. So this one is not it. Okay. This one, V, C, V, I, V, A, high, high, high. Okay, that could possibly be it. Let's go to subsequent confidentiality. Let's check the last one here. V, C, V, I, V, A, high, high, and high. So it's between these two. Between these two. Okay, this has changed, A, V. That's attack vector. So let's check attack vector. Attack vector network. Okay, so that should be N. Attack vector network N, that would be this one. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. Let me just check subsequent confidentiality, integrity, and availability. That'd be SC, low, low, low. Okay, so it's not this one because this one says subsequent confidentiality, integrity as medium or moderate, and then subsequent availability is low. So it has to be the third one. I'm pretty confident about that. Okay, and you do need to know this, especially for SISA Plus, CAS Plus. Uh, for Security Plus, it helps to understand what these are. But SISA plus, CAS plus, you're definitely going to get questions like this. Okay, what's your following remediation strategy for 2024-5911? Okay, so I guess we're going back to the scan results. That's this one. Pan OS file upload vulnerability in the Panorama web interface. Okay, that's Palo Alto Network. Uh, Pan OS arbitrary file upload vulnerability in Palo Alto Network's Panorama software. Enables authenticated read-write administrator with access to the web interface to disrupt system processes, crash the panorama. Repeated attacks eventually cause the panorama to enter a maintenance mode. Okay. That's not too good. Does it give us any remediation clues here? Well, it might be, I mean, it could be, there's a lot of versions here. And it looks like it does not affect anything greater than 10 to 4. Because you just find... If it's listed like this, you find the one that's not affected, you go to the next one if there's a greater than sign. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be this one. Upgrade to pan OS 10.2, but I shouldn't be jumping to that one. Disable file upload functionality. Well, I don't think that would do anything for this one. So no, temporary patch is provided by the vendor. A temporary patch provided by the vendor, I mean, there's no, I don't think it's a temporary patch. It's, it's a patch that's fully realized because anything above this would be patched already. So if this was a, if this is like a cutting edge vulnerability, then yeah, that might be a, a temporary patch, but that doesn't make sense here. Ignore the vulnerability if no attacks have been reported. I like that one. That's what a lot of people do. That's what a lot of people do, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the right answer. So let's keep going. I think it's going to be this one. Upgrade the uh, the patch there. What would be a comp scene control if the primary method of remediation was not available? Okay. 
All right, so this is a screenshot from Palo Alto. So what does this say? Arbitrary file upload vulnerability in Palo Alto uh, networks, Panorama software. Yeah, this is the same thing that was written into here. So we know a patch is gonna work. What are the options here? Add a firewall in between PanOS and the internet, switch to AWS, uh, remove PanOS web interface from the network, restrict access to PanOS to only to authorized administrators, block port 2021, which is FTP. Hmm. Okay, what does it say? Does it say anything here? Uh, severity high, here's the CVSS score. This is the same table we saw earlier, okay? That was part of the scan results. Palo Alto Network's not aware of any malicious exploitation of this issue. Weakness type CV CWE434, this is a CWE number. Solution, the issue is fixed in PanOS 10.1.9, 10.2.4, and later. Okay, so upgrading was the correct solution. So what is a work? Okay, here we go. Workaround and mitigations. The issue requires the attacker to have authenticated access to PanOS web interface. You can mitigate the impact of this issue by following the best practices for securing mystery of access in the PanOS technical documentation. All right, so we need to secure administrative access. So I think of all of these, this one make the most sense. Restrict access only to authorized administrators. So if we didn't have the patch available or maybe we couldn't apply the patch, maybe it caused conflicts in our environment, that does happen, then we could have a compensating control essentially. So I think this would be a good compensating control. Okay, all right, let's keep going. How would you address this one, CVE5912? Okay, this is 5912 here. Cortex XDR agent improper file signature verification checks. Um, improper file signature check, Palo Alto Networks Cortex XDR agent may allow the attacker to bypass the Cortex XDR agent's executable blocking capabilities and run untrusted executables on the device. If you leverage to execute untrusted software without being detected or blocked. Okay. I mean, if, if a patch is available, you're just gonna patch it. Perform regular system scans, disable the agent temporarily. I don't think we'd go that far. Upgrade the court, this, I think that's definitely it. Change default settings. Let's say anything about default settings. If it does, that might be the right answer. Uh, by test XPRs, agent executable blocking capabilities. I don't think so. I don't really see anything about that, so I'm pretty sure just applying the patch, and the patch number matches up, right? It says XCR4 or later. I mean, really, it would be fixed on three or later. But a patch, I think, is a much better answer than this, so I think this is going to be fine. Let's go ahead and try to see how we did here. So let's see how we did. Okay. Okay. Hey, great. All right, we got them correct. I think that's a really good question. Given the vulnerabilities listed, this one should be first. That makes a lot of sense to me. Highest CVS score. Now that's not necessarily always what you wanna do, but this one is critical. So it's a critical score. So I think that makes the most sense there. A yeah, critical vulnerability. And it does say it's a critical vulnerability. You should definitely be remediating your critical vulnerabilities first. Best action for 5910. Upgrade to this version. Addresses the missing authentication issues. This one should be written. Okay, we were right on that one. We should definitely get that right. Uh, and scored. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's the scoring. You just have to know the shorthand. So, makes sense. 5911. What are we doing here? Upgrade to this patch because it mitigates that. And then what would we do as a compensating control? And this is correct. I think that makes the most sense. You have to have administrative access. You can mitigate the, yeah. And it, it basically what we were looking for there is this workaround and mitigation. That's a compensating control. Great.
And then how would we solve this one? Five, nine, one, two, upgrade. And a lot of times, a lot of times, weaknesses are gonna be remediated by patches. That's very realistic. Uh, it's You have to be creative when you find the ones that have to be solved in a different way. If the patch isn't available, there's no patch available or your network has to run an older version. That's very possible. Okay. Great. I think this is a really good question. This is very realistic to what you might be doing in actual cybersecurity role. And it's something that you would probably see, especially the CVSS shorthand on uh, Security Plus, CAS Plus, CISA Plus question. So I think this is a really good one. I hope you guys enjoyed the question. Thanks so much. Have a great day.